So if you're all about success stories like I am, you definitely want to check this out because I'm going to share how one of my clients who's a party planner was able to double her profits after working with me for three months. And I'm sharing all the steps we did to get her there so that you might even use this to improve some things in your business. Hi, I'm Jody Ann Roll, founder of the Event Certificate, and I work with event planners and wedding planners to help them get more leads into their business. If you're struggling to get leads, you're struggling to find clients, stop struggling on your own. Head on over to my website, www.eventcertificate.com. So let's break it down. Now, first, we're going to start with the client. So the client is Kane Howden. Um, she's a client and honestly, a friend of mine. She's so amazing. She does such amazing work. You've seen her before on the channel. She does the Canva mock-ups and they are awesome. But I wanted to share where she was at the point that we met and at the point that she was struggling. The problem, the problem that when we actually met is she was at the point in her business where she was getting bookings, she was getting clients, but they weren't as consistent as she wanted them to be. And she wanted to hit a certain revenue goal that she wasn't hitting or she was really striving to get to and she wasn't getting there. It just not wasn't happening consistently. So here's the thing. We had to work on a couple of things and I'm going to walk you through how we did that. The first thing that I do when I'm working with a client and this is what I did in Can's business was I do an overview, right? Meaning I just go through their business, do a lot of research, do a lot of digging to see where they're at and where the gaps are. Because often before I can help you, I have to understand what you might be missing and what might actually be stopping you from growing. So in terms of, there's a couple of things in terms of one branding, she had her branding more or less on point, like her branding colors and fonts and all the pretty stuff were in place. Like she had a pretty nice looking brand. The only thing I found that was missing here was her messaging. So she was trying to target, her message was basically trying to capture everyone, right? So it was doing a lot of targeting. And what I did when we started working together was to help her refine that, right? I was focused on one particular type of client, which was people who were looking to have very like, themed events, like a birthday party. And I wanted her to speak to the parent or the mom that wants to put on the spectacular event, but don't want to spend a time working. She wants to be out there taking photos, you know, watching them blow up the candle and cut the cake. And this is where can would come in. So we worked on her messaging and refined that so much that if somebody clicked on her website and came through, they're just like, oh my God, yes, this is me. Sign me up. Right. And that's what we worked on. The next thing we worked on was SEO. So what I found after doing research was that there was a huge gap where she wasn't showing up. If someone was searching for certain things like birthday parties or letter tables, all the things that she provided, she wasn't really at the top of the search and I wanted to get her there. So I overall her SEO. So we went through her website content and copy. We looked at trying to put up some blog posts, right? Working on how her messaging was on social media to help her get to the forefront. And we did eventually she was on the first page of Google. So if you search certain keywords, she would be in the first three results on the map right at the top without paying for advertisement. So of course, having something like that where you're not at the top of the page means you get more traffic and more traffic means more inquiries and more inquiries means what? Well, more bookings. So that was one of the things that led to an increase in her profit. The other thing that we worked on was also her pricing because yes, I'm going to be getting you more traffic, but I need you to have the right price in place. So she does such amazing work. I'm going to pop some of her photos in as I'm talking so you can just see where she's at. Like she does such amazing work, but her pricing was not capturing that. Her pricing was too conservative. And in fact, in my opinion, way too low. So one of the things we looked at was actually revamping her pricing, you know, looking at her costs, looking at her profit points and how we could change that. So we overhaul her pricing so that as she was getting leads, she was booking at a higher profit point. So she was making more money. And the other thing we looked at was her marketing. So she was out here, she was getting referrals and that was where the inconsistent was coming, but she was getting clients but she wasn't marketing consistently. So what we looked at was the different ways that she could market. Now she's someone that didn't want to be on social media all the time. So we had to look at different ways that she could actually market her business. So we did some Facebook ads. She started doing Facebook group marketing, different things to drive traffic. And those worked really well. So this is why I often say to people that I can't offer you this magic marketing pill because every marketing strategy will be different for everybody's business. And as a marketer, 
I can tell you, I don't work like a lot of other marketers. I won't say, okay, Facebook ads are it and you, everybody should be running it. I try to work with my clients to understand where they are at their point, where they are in their business, what works best for them and what they're gonna keep, like what's sustainable. I might say, you know what, the best thing for your business is marketing on social media every day. You need to be consistent. That's just a general marketing strategy. But if you're somebody who don't enjoy sharing, you don't want to be public facing, this is going to be uncomfortable for you. And guess what? You're not going to do it. Until you get over that, you're not going to do it. So maybe then the best marketing strategy for you is more small group marketing, right? Where you're really just pumping out people, you're networking people around you for referrals. Maybe that's the best strategy. And that's why I say marketing needs to be customized and it can't just be one marketing pill. Now, last but certainly not least, one of the things that we worked on was actually adding an additional revenue source to her business. After working with Kant and seeing the amazing work that she does, one of the things that jumped out at me was her client experience. She was offering clients this mock-up before their actual event that just blew my mind. I didn't see a lot of clients doing this. And most importantly, she was using programs to do it that was quite accessible like Canva. So when I saw that, I said to her, well, have you even thought about how you could teach this to somebody else? And she was surprised. She was kind of like, well, doesn't everybody do this? Now, as somebody who works with a lot of wedding pros, right? I've worked with wedding planners. I've worked with some venue owners, caterers. I can tell you that not everybody was doing that. So when I told her, no, they weren't, and I'm actually impressed, which I think a lot of other designers would be, we decided she, she would provide something more of like a course or a workshop where she would show people how to do this. So she would show other planners and designers how they could do something similar to up-level their business. And we worked on creating a course. We put together the content and I worked with Kan to do all the outline, put everything together, and then she started marketing the course. And honestly, guys, that was one of the best things for her business in terms of an additional revenue source. So not only was she able to double her profits on the event side, she was also able to add an additional revenue source to bring her a ton of income, six figures of income in fact, that she had not even thought about. So when sometimes when I meet people and they'll say, you know, Jody, how much is the price to work with you? And I tell them and they're like, uh, I don't know, that seems kind of pricey. I promise you, you need to look at your return on investment. now. I say this, but keep in mind, Can is someone who, she actually did, did the work, so you need to be in that position as well, because sometimes I find that people who think that hiring a consultant or hiring a coach means that they automatically become profitable. You only become profitable if you're actually implementing the strategies that I'm teaching you, or you're working with me to get those implemented, because otherwise, then you're just going to be in the same position. You now have access to me, but you're expecting me to fix and run your business and I'm not able to do that. But if you are able to put in the work and we do the work together, I promise you, you'll see amazing things. If you're someone who you're struggling to grow your business and you're hoping to be in a similar position or just to even see a little bit of growth, definitely reach out to me, www.eventcertificate.com or you can come over to Instagram, send me a DM. I check my DMs, not every five minutes but i do check my dms and come and speak to me and see how i can help don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this one week after week